Welcome back friends and today I'd like to just go over the uppercut strike. So for demonstration purpose and you can follow along I'll have my left foot in front, my right leg is in back and I'll be striking with my right hand. A couple things to remember is to make a, a solid fist when you're doing this and you want to tuck in your fingers, curl them in and just let your thumb just naturally fall on your pretty much you'd be your index finger and maybe and a little bit of your middle finger to avoid you have to remember really avoid trying to hold your thumb don't don't tuck in your thumb and then curl your fingers over your thumb you you could possibly break your thumb pretty easily so you want to be careful to avoid that and like I say, you're just going to curl, curl in your fingers, and then your thumb will just fall gracefully on your index and middle finger. And try to hit with your index finger and your middle finger. So these two, these two knuckles. You want to you want to hit with your index knuckle and your middle knuckle, middle finger knuckle. So you want to remember to use your waist like you're swinging uh, a baseball bat. And to generate uh, the maximum power, you need to use your legs too. This strike, this uppercut strike, what's really great is you can pretty much deliver it anywhere on the body and they're gonna they're gonna feel this they're gonna feel this technique. So that's what that's what but the only thing is you need to you need to be like in in close we're meaning that you need to be very close to them when you do this strike because that's where the most effective is is where this strike is going to be it's it's really at home when you can be really close to them when you're when you're far away you you lose a lot of power and they can they they can read it though they can see it coming from a long ways so it's you can maximize this strike if you're really close to them and you can generate a lot of power in your legs and in your hips so there you have it folks a, a really good uppercut to, and also remember try to keep your your wrist straight you don't want to be crooked because you're going to hurt yourself. So try to keep your wrist straight and and come and really dig dig upwards. Try to go upwards. That's why it's called the upper cut. So thank you very much, friends. And till next time, have a great day.